Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Paddle Smash Academy. Here in the sunny Miami, we have the weekly news for you. So let's start with uh, the reserve, right? Let's start with the reserve event. Tell us, you were there, tell us, uh, how, how was it? Um, it was amazing. I mean, I gotta say that Reserve Club uh, takes it here, you know, because they, they I mean, where are you gonna, where are you gonna be able to see these four, uh, you know, top level players uh, play, you know, and actually play with them? It's a pretty incredible. They had Miguel Lampardi, Coqui Nieto, Gonzalo Rubio, and, Ch and Chippy uh, Munoz. Uh, incredible players, all top twenty uh, per, uh, players from World Paddle Tour. Uh, members were able to play with them, which was really, really great. I mean, I played with all of them. It was amazing. I know. I got to see some really, really exciting video clips on Instagram. I mean, the level that you were moving, you, you look like a, a classic ballerina playing <laughs> on the court. I mean, you were just floating there. It was pretty amazing. Maybe for a couple of games, that was it. I think, that yeah, <laughs> maybe for a half a game, probably. <laughs> oh, thank you. I mean, that's pretty good. Half a game. I mean, that level was incredible. Um, the opportunity to be able to do that at that club was, is amazing. I mean, it's, again, some of the benefits of being a member. I mean, if you're ever considering being a member, I mean, there's so many great benefits there. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And then afterwards, you're able to see an exhibition game. You know, they played against each other, and it was, it was, it was great. It was uh, yeah, let's give some some kudos to to Wayne Boyge, the owner of, of Reserve and everyone Definitely. else there. They always pull up some outstanding, incredible paddle events. So yeah. well done, guys. Okay, so let's talk about Pan American Games. Uh, you've been nominated to go, right? Yes. Congratulations. Yes. We got Pass Smash going there. And yeah. We got some representing that. So uh, you're representing USA. Yeah. Right. And so uh, tell me a little bit about it. How many teams are there? And how is? Well, let's go with that. How many teams yes. are there? Well, first of all, I mean, I was proud. Um, I'm proudly uh, nominated to represent the US, uh, the USA, in, in the upcoming Pan American Games. Uh, they're going to be held in Brazil, specifically in Camboriú. Uh, 75 of us play, paddle players from the U.S. are going there to represent uh, the American flag. Uh, super excited, super nervous. I mean, it's going to be a very highly competitive uh, event, paddle event. Um, how do we get chosen? Um, the USPA uh, assign a captain for each specific team, and then the captain chooses the players. The way the format it is, 70% of the, uh, when you choose a player, has its be, uh, ranking base. So if you have a good ranking, you're almost guaranteed that you're going to go, especially if, you, if you're on top, top, uh, top, top 10, top 20. And the other 30% is based on skill levels. I mean, some of these players are very good players, but they don't compete as much. So th that's the way it's been, it's been uh, format or so set up. So how did you get in then? Uh, connections. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I figured, yes, I figured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay great uh so how does that work how, how do you determine who plays who doesn't is a team based i mean oh uh, uh, first of all if you've been playing the uh some tournaments with a specific partner and the partner is also going uh that is recommended because you guys already know each other uh we've been having uh weekly practices uh play with different partners and then uh see who is a good fit to what um, and it's been pretty good. I mean, some pretty good players are coming. Um, the funny part is that uh, we don't have players. Uh, the, the, um, some of the players are going to be playing different uh, divisions because we don't have enough players for each division, sadly. Uh, but Paddle is growing here in the United States. Hopefully next year is going to be different. But we're so excited. We're going to be competing against the rest of the American countries. Uh, in, you know, the strongest teams are going to be Argentina, Brazil, uh, Chile, uh, Paraguay, uh, Uruguay has, has some very strong teams. So nervous, exciting. And, and let's let's go USA, baby. And I, I didn't yeah. know they had a senior citizen division. You they, know? they do. They do. They're <laughs> 65 and over. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell me about the let's talk about a little bit about the World Paddle Tour in Mexico. Oh, yes, yes. Mexico. Yep. That was uh, let's talk. I know. I know. You know, most of you guys know the winners, uh, Cuello and Tapio. But let's talk more about uh, Leontino. I mean, the performance in, in that tournament was just unbelievable. Unbelievable. That Leo man can hit the smash that ball, man. It doesn't even seem like he's putting a lot of effort, and that ball just goes up for three all the time. Uh, it's Incredible. just amazing athleticism. Um, they they had to beat um, 
uh, um, Paquito, right? Paquito and uh, who they beat? Chingoto, Chingoto right? Yeah. They beat them, and then they also beat Garrido and, and Momo yeah. to make it to the to the finals. Yeah. Um, it was just unbelievable. I mean, there's times being. I think that's a, definitely the future. Some of the, the kids that I think are gonna do very well next year in in, in new premiere battle. I mean, these two kids are under 20 years old and they're beating pretty much everyone. Right there, you're watching right now the f next generation of paddle players. Definitely. Something very very interesting. I, I don't know if you pay attention or not. They play the entire tournament without a coach. Only by themselves. They had wow. no coach whatsoever. So where you, everybody else has a huge team behind them, including a coach. These two young kids, they made it to the final without a coach. Pretty, pretty impressive. It's amazing. But why do you think that is? Uh, they probably they didn't have any money because coaches have cost yeah. a lot of money. But I think they've proven themselves, right? Yeah. I think most coaches would invest some yeah. time. You know, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, so, sometimes it is difficult when uh, let's say I'm a paddle player, I have my own coach and the other, my partner has a different coach who gets to choose which coach is going to rep, uh, be representing us during the tournament. Sometimes it gets a little bit, uh, frictionist that, that, that relationship. Mm. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know the insights, mm. uh, but you know, that could be one of the reasons. The other one is, is the financial reason, which may, may not be, but, uh, pretty interesting because they have no guidance whatsoever. Yeah. So they really went out and play their best and, and incredible. So imagine when they have a coach. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're gonna, I mean, I, I'm i looking forward to seeing them uh, at, yeah. the, at the semis and finals, uh, you know, of, of all the tournaments uh, next year. Yeah, and they're, they're part of the Knox Next Generation team. Uh, Knox is doing a great, great uh, program for Next uh, Generation players. They have them all living in the same house, all the young players uh, practicing with the same coaches and all that. And they're a part of that specific group. That includes also Agustin Tapia, which is obviously at a different level. And something interesting uh, happened in the final that uh, um, uh, Leo Ausberger, if he if he would have won that specific tournament, he would have made it to the finals of the Masters. That's uh, why that's always crying. That's right? why he it's cried at, right yeah, at the yeah, end, yeah. and he was so close and. Uh, and that was, he was crying right at the final because he was so close to made it to the f Masters Finals, which is a huge achievement for any paddle player. Yeah, at his age especially. Yeah, at his age, yeah, it's true. Okay, great. So let's let's talk about the PPL, right? Uh, the new teams, right? New yeah, teams in the PPL. Exciting. And new players coming on, you know, on board the PPL. I mean, we've got a lot of great things. So uh, I think we have a three more new, new, new teams. Yeah. Right? So let's, let's go over that. I think we have the first one is uh, Houston Volts, right? The Houston Bolts uh, is coming out of Houston uh, with some exciting new players. They haven't confirmed all of them. They have in the draft, uh, I think it's in January, first mm -hmm. week in January. Yeah. Then we have the Florida Goats, baby, <laughs> with Daddy Yankee. <laughs> so that's an exciting. It's, it's going to have a new you know, vibe on it. Uh, so, so how do you say that again? The Florida Goats, <laughs> baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be really cool. And then you have the New York Atlantics, which uh, Juan Martin Diaz is going to be playing uh, for in the PPL next year, 2024. Yes. It's going to be amazing, huh? And we should mention that, actually, as of the World Paddle uh, Mass uh, Championship in, in Mexico, he has called it quits. He's retiring yeah, from the yeah, World yeah. Paddle Tour. I saw that. I saw his speech, and it's, yes. you know, it was a tearjerker, man. Yeah, I mean, yes. he does so much for paddle. Um, he's just a legend. Yeah, and it's it's tough to let go of paddle, you know. But yeah. I think, you know, he has he had a great you know great history. Um, I think he's going to move on to great things also, and, and, and you know, in, in, in affiliated with paddle. Yeah, just just to give you a little bit of the flashback, <clears throat> he was number one in the world for thirteen consecutive years. I mean, at any sport, to be number one or out of any sport for 13 consecutive years wow. without getting injured, without, you know, especially having your partner, you know, right. sticking with you. And they were almost undefeated, undefeated without losing a professional match for almost two years with Bella. His partner was wow. Bella. Yeah. They were their undisputed kings of paddles for mm -hmm. uh, 13 years. And, and after they split up, uh, Bella went up to be number one in the world for another three more years, over 16 years. So it's his achievements on the paddle world, they're outstanding. Uh, I don't know if somebody will break those, but... I don't know. I mean, that team, Bella and, and yeah. this was like an yeah. amazing team. An know? amazing Just, team. Just, wow. They and were unbeatable. Unbeatable. So 
Let's talk about the Exxon Cup. Something very interesting. Probably you guys don't, haven't heard about it, but let's give us a, let's give them a, an update. Yeah, yeah, that's that's new. I think uh, I, I, we don't have a lot of info on it, but we have some basic uh, uh, um, information on it. Um, we know that it's somewhat like a team team sport, right? Yes. It's going to be in uh, in Madrid in yes. February of next year. Uh, there's six uh, franchises. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, those yeah. six individual franchises, and they're going to be owned by uh athletes or celebrities yeah and i think it's uh, i call it this the ppl on steroids for yeah. simple reason that there's a huge money price behind it the winners will take a million euros home wow. uh, which is huge huge they're playing in madrid uh they're playing i believe it's at the uh Real Madrid or Atletico Madrid stadium i mean it's, it's something really really exciting i mean the, the, the exposure is going to be huge and uh, some of the owners of these six teams, they're like big sports stars and celebrities. One of those is Andy Murray, former number one uh, tennis player in the world. Rafa Nadal and Rafa Nadal Academy. That's sponsored also by um, his watch. Uh, what's the name of his watch? Uh, his high-end uh, watch. I can't, I can't remember the name. Yeah. But I mean, it, it, it's uh, sponsored by that. Uh, also, we have Eva Longoria, the actress. And we have a, a team from Puerto Rico uh, called the Bella Team uh, by some, you know, high high end uh, entrepreneurs in in Puerto Rico. Uh, it's super exciting, super exciting. Yeah, and what's we're, we also have Jose Calvo Sotelo. Jose Calvo Sotelo is the brains behind um, uh, this whole Exxon Cup. I had a pleasure to meet him, and I had spent some time with him. He's the owner of Mat for Paddle. Uh, club, uh, one of the top clubs in Madrid. It's in Pozuelos. Um, if you ever go to Madrid, go and check them out because it's absolutely beautiful club. And and Jose, it's it's an outstanding person. Right, right, great. Yeah. Right. Million dollars, huh? A million, no, a million euros, even euros. more. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it, yeah, yeah. And I wonder if that's going to continue every every year, or this is just like uh, you, you know at the beginning of yeah. stages, or is it going to go up? Is it going to go down the prizes? I mean, that, that gives a lot of motivation, yeah, for people to get into this uh, this uh, and franchise. Then, and let me ask one thing: What would it happen if they're jumping in? They're jumping, you know, across the ocean, and they come into the United States. I now they're going to be big because it's the same format as the uh, PPL, yeah, right? That's true. Yeah. So I'm not sure. It's going to be interesting. I, I think that's their second stage. They get. I think they're going to look at analytics and see and assess how well it went. Yeah. For, you know, February. Yeah. If it went well, then you know they might cross yeah. across the pond, right, and, and come over here. Yeah. We'll the, the, see. We'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of drama there. There'll be a lot of drama there a for sure. A lot of drama for sure. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, Racket X. I know it's coming in next year. You're you're involved in, in Racket yes. X, so let's talk a little bit about that. Racket X. So I'm I'm part of the team at Racket X. Racket X is the first ever uh, racket sports expo uh, coming here, coming in the United States or in the world. Uh, it's coming here to Miami at the Miami Beach Convention Center from March 24 to the 26. And basically what we're doing is we're bringing all racket sports together under the same roof. That's going to be tennis, paddle, pickleball, squash, uh, beach tennis, uh, ping pong, uh, name it. We're going to have all, all racket sports coming together with a big emphasis on tennis, uh, paddle, and pickleball. And we're building a tennis court. We're building uh, four paddle courts. We're building uh, four pickleball courts. It's going to be a super, super exciting event. We're going to have professional players from all the racket sports come in and give talks, uh, do exhibitions. Uh, we're going to have vendors from ITs, from apparel, from name it, all the big brands. They're going to be here from Adidas, Wilson, um, you know, all, all uh, paddle brands. Uh, you name it, they, they're going to be here. Super exciting. If you're in Miami, in March, March 24 to the 26th, come and check it out because it's going to be super exciting. Racket X. Nice, nice. So what, what can a consumer really expect when he goes there? They're going to obviously talk about there's going to be all racket stuff there, but there's going to be booths there, the ability to play, actually play there, in, in rather paddle, pickle, or tennis. Uh, what what else can they can expect? Well, the, the expo is going to be oriented to both uh, B2B, uh, business to business, and business to consumer, final okay. consumer. So you're going to have both ends. Wow. Uh, and yes, we're going to do the course. They're going to be 
allotted to each specific brand. Let's say uh, Bull Paddle wants to do uh, show their rackets for people to try out their new Bull Paddle rackets that are coming out in 2024. So they can use one of the courts for um, other businesses, owners, or final customers, try those paddles and, and check them out. So the, it's going to be super interactive and it's going to be super, super exciting. Right. With, uh, is there going to be any paddle players or uh, oh, yeah. celebrities yeah. there? Yeah. Anybody, yeah, yeah we're gonna, anybody could say? Uh, I can't say it right now, <laughs> but I guarantee you we're going to have a professional tennis paddle and pickable players uh, coming up and, oh. and give speeches and give exhibitions, do programs and, and things like that. Nice. We'll keep you updated on, yes. on our news uh, yeah. moving forward. Right? And we're going to be most likely, hopefully, broadcasting from on location from there. Oh, yeah, so very, that's going to be exciting. Yeah, we'll try yeah. to be live there. You know, yes. be pretty cool. Um, OK, well, thanks. Uh, thanks, guys, for joining us for our weekly uh, news flash. And we'll catch you next week. Stay tuned.